Hello, welcome to Italy. I flew into Bergamo Airport last night, which is in the north, uh, and I'm cycling to Eurobike, which is in Germany. So that means I've got to cross the Alps. So here we go. The trip is going to be split over three days. Today is obviously day one. And uh, we're just cycling into the mountains. A lovely long valleys here. And uh, it's, it's not really a... Uh, there's no real, there's only one real big climb today and the rest of it's just gradual, false flat and uphill. 3,000 metres of climbing, but 2,000 of those metres are all in one pass and that's the Passo Gavia, which is a Giro d'Italia classic and one I've always wanted to ride. So yeah, cruise up to there and then uh, try and get over that. the banks of Lake Isu and just uh, yeah, going further into the mountains now. Plan my route on Camus, it's quite nice, it takes on all these, uh, these lovely little cycle paths because uh, the problem with valley roads is they get quite busy because there's no alternatives. So I'm hoping that I'll be in nice quiet tracks for a bit and then uh, once the roads are quieter further in the mountains it should all be good. Gradually climbing at the moment. Nothing too bad, just uh, fairly steady. There's a few clouds around there. A few showers, so it might be a bit wet higher up. The rain's gone, got a massive tailwind, and flying up the valley towards Gavia. There we go, on the Gavia. Peaceful up here. Great. Ah, oh, started raining. It's a bit of a bugger. Hopefully, it would push over, but not hiding my hopes out too much. Let's get the rain jacket on and crack on. Oh, this is such an awesome climb. It's not that busy. The sun's out again and I've got this awesome mist. Moody. Oh, pretty high now. In the last mile, I think. Feeling the altitude a little bit. I could do some arrows. There's the top, thank God. There we go. Finally made it the Paso Gavia and even cleared at the top. Gavia is just amazing. Probably the best pass I've ever been over. Got away with that one. I was going to camp tonight and then uh, just came down the mountain and into a massive storm. But luckily, I passed this good quality two star hotel, which is pretty much the same price as camping anyway. So I'm going to stay here. Good morning. Welcome to day two. I'm just on the lower slopes of uh, the Stelvio Pass and uh, well, it's all uphill for a bit. I'm not going all the way to the top. Um, I'm going into Switzerland via the Umbrella Pass as I'm going into Austria afterwards. So in Austria, I'm uh, meeting the guys from Hum Bike Wheels at the Eurobike Demo Day. This climb is a bit of a motorway. It's a shame really. Top for me up there. 
the buildings are. That's where I go onto the umbrella path. again. Two almost in the bag. Just had a climb up from the valley down there. Uh, about K's go, I think. So, looking forward to some lunch. So, it's start of day three. And I've got a friend today. So, Ollie from Hunt is joining me, and we're being joined by a couple of journalists from Road CC. And I've got no luggage, so it should be a fast day. 130 miles to go. for the day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you a lot now, is that a plan? <laughs> How are you doing guys? We're doing good. This is a nice climb. It's not really a climb, is it? It's it's really nice. That's what makes it good. Perfect Alpine Valley. Almost the high point of the day. 2,000 metres. And it's downhill all the way to Eurobike. How's it going Ollie? Just caught a lift off Tom's car. About three kilometer, as I back to feeling like crap again. <laughs> now it's time to get dropped again. Go away. <laughs> Having fun, Ollie. <laughs> This is our descent to come up all the way down the valley. So I'm on a detour into Lichtenstein. Is it? It's famous for some of them, isn't it? Well, all false teeth in the whole world. I think it's false teeth. It's like the epicenter of false teeth production on planet Earth. Do you not do your research, uh, George? No. Do? I just drew a wiggly line on the map from Lichtenstein for <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> and then here we are. Right. That's what a 85 kilogram guy dragging himself up a steep hill looks like. About to get steeper as well, beautiful. <laughs> there we go, Lichter Stone in the background. Not bad. Made it to Lake Constance. Friedrich Scharfen is in the distance. video don't forget to subscribe I uh, hope you enjoyed it 220 miles in three days bikepacking over the Alps see ya